government, destabilizing the world and impoverishing their own population. Maybe they're on board with that. Even if they are, they shouldn't do it because the job of the media, the press, is to keep power in check. You are kind of like the seatbelt, right? You know, right. You, you make sure that things don't go too far. So, um, and they're not doing that. They're acting as a willing handmaiden. When do you think that power. switched? I think it's been the case for a long time. I mean, if you look at what happened to Richard Nixon, which I, of course, did not understand at all, um, Richard Nixon was taken out by the FBI and CIA, and um, with the help of Bob, Wo Bob Woodward, who was a Washington Post reporter who had been a naval intelligence officer working in the White House, working in the Nixon White House. And then he shows up, like, a year later, and he's this brand new reporter. He'd never been a journalist at all. He's a naval intel officer, the famous Bob Woodward we all revere. And he's at the Washington Post, and somehow he gets the biggest story in the history of the Washington Post. He's the lead guy in that story. Well, I, I worked at a newspaper. I've been in the news business my whole life. That is not how it works. You don't take a kid, like, his first day from a totally unrelated business and put him on the biggest story. But he was.